Welcome to the studio at Africa's Green Economy Summit. Today, we are joined by Male Fofana, who is the Africa Director and Head of Programs at the Global Green Growth Institute. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, so let's begin by unpacking some of the key challenges that Africa faces uh, when it comes to its sustainable development approach. Yeah. So when it's come to sustainable development approach, we have to understand that Africa is dealing with a couple of issues. Uh, one of the issues is linked to how they can increase the economy, but also being resilient to climate change. And in addition, we know that the African continent also is facing issues that link to food security, climate, or also conflict. The question that we're asking is how African continent or African countries can have one particular program can solve the, all the solution at once, right? And that's what we call the green growth strategy because it's a well-integrated strategy that help the continent or the countries to know from the social side what are the different strategies to be in the place, but also from the economic side, what are the things they need to be in place. So as a GGI, what we're doing is we're helping those countries to have that perspective. So once you have a green growth strategy in place, then the second point is quite important to have is what we call a national financial vehicle. The reason why we want to push countries to have a national financial vehicle, because that's a financial instrument that can help to de-risk the, as a mechanism, the perception of investors when it's come to invest in green project, right? So I think it's good that uh, we ha have more and more such kind of programming strategy in place so the countries can really uh, have a clear idea on the pathway when it's come to becoming green. So I think for us, it's quite important to see that coming. Mm. Yeah. And what do you think Africa's needs are when it comes to uh, uh, green growth? And how do you think it can benefit from green growth with the needs that it has? I mean, Couple of things. When it's come to the continent of Africa, you, we let's start with the with the with having green jobs, right? You know that we have a large of number of youth coming, right? The question is how we can solve that issues of youth by finding employment. But I think the fact of having a green growth strategy in place will help to create more green jobs because in the climate change space, there's a possibility to create more green jobs than this great economy in in certain way. That's one. Second, when it's come to access to social and decent infrastructure that are more resilient to climate change, right? So when you go to road infrastructure, uh, that climate resilience is quite important because flooding is coming a lot in the, in the continent. We just experienced in Nigeria, Mozambique as well. So how countries can set a clear strategy that linked to resilience in infrastructure is quite important to help these issues. Thirdly, when it's come to economic competitiveness, right? Uh, so the continent and the Africa kind of also trying to see how they can maintain growth, but also at the same time preserving the natural capital, right? That's the direct kind of dilemma. So the fact that you have your well-integrated program strategy will help to maintain that growth rate, but also preserving your natural capital by investing a lot. So how you can work and adapt yourself to push that. And that's why more and more you see in the continent pushing for climate smart agriculture, because we raise the level of production when it's come to agriculture, but also maintaining our natural capital. So yes, in that shell, if we have a green growth strategy that will help to solve those two issues, social issues, which is linked to jobs, you know, uh, having the right infrastructure as well, but also economic issues when it's come to have a green economic growth. Mm. Yeah. And are there any projects or plans in the pipeline currently that you can tell us about that Green, the Green Growth Institute is working on? Yeah, we work on a couple of things and I will just maybe move from the policy side to the investment side, which is the entire value chain. From, now from the policy side, we are working with a couple of countries that we help uh, setting up uh, the national green growth strategy. We have the case of uh, Ethiopia, that we have to have the climate resilience economy strategy that really set up the foundation of that. And also working with Senegal on the green PSA, which is the national program there. We also work when it's come to design the financial vehicle uh, with uh, support with Sfonerwa, uh, also working with uh, IC, the African uh, Financial Corporation, on setting up uh, uh, ICRF with the uh, Infrastructure Climate Resilient Fund to really support that growth. I think this is quite interesting to see that. And lastly, we're trying also to push green bonds, right, and carbon transaction. The reason why we push for also for carbon transaction is that we realize that most of the countries now start talking about how they can uh, make carbon transaction by selling the carbon, right? But the issue is that they do not have the right tools and mechanism to set the right price when it comes to negotiating with the, with the buyers. So what we're trying to do with our carbon transaction platform is to helping our member state to have come up with the right price, the right tools, the right mechanism to just better negotiate with the buyers and sell the right uh, 
you know, price of the carbon when it's come to that transaction. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot that we're doing in the country. And we are not, we are also a non-profit organization. So all the things that we're doing is just supporting our member state for free. And last year we mobilized $5.2 billion for our country member state for that. Mm -hmm. So let's bring it back a little bit uh, to the energy transition, which yeah. I'm sure everyone has heard about <laughs> by now. Um, how do you think Africa can find balance between economic growth and environmental sustainability in its pursuit of an energy transition and a green economy? I mean, we have to see energy not as a hand process, but starting process, right? And let me explain that. So let's take the example of the agricultural sectors. We have to use energy as, uh, let's say, uh, triggering the, other, the, the level of production of the sector. When you go for climate smart agriculture, you can use energy sector, for example, the solar irrigation system, right? So because a lot of the agriculture, they use diesel pump to do the irrigation. And when you use diesel pump, the cost of your production, 50%, will dedicate it to buying fuel, right? So when you replace the generator with the solar irrigation system, that help the farmers, the most vulnerable farmers, to save 50% of the cost of the production. That can go to education or health. At the same time, keep having solar irrigation system that can increase the level of productivity in a certain way. So combining using energy as act, just not at the starting of the process to just solve the problem of agricultural productivity, but also indirectly solve problems that lead to education and health. That's what example on agriculture sector. So now when you move to other sectors like, uh, for example, e-transport or e-mobility, right? More and more we see a lot of cars, you know, with the GSG, you know, emission in the, how we can transform those cars to more electric. So I think there's a huge potential in Africa and that potential should be linked to first start having more, let's say, private sector involved on assembling in, or, or assembling like a, a electric car in the country, but also see how they can use uh, that to go for bike, for example. We have also support retrofitting e-bike in Rwanda to see how they can just, the ongoing bikes, how they can be more uh, green when it's come to the climate change. So I think energy have to be, to be used as catalytic tools to support different sectors. And I can say also the same thing on the building side. I can also say the same thing in the industry as well, because we also have to think about how we can greener the industrial park that are the most polluted as well uh, in certain way. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think energy can be used really as entry point to transform the economy, bring it a lot of impact, both social and economic as well. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Papana, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and, and letting us know what uh, the potential is for, for Africa when it comes to the green economy and green growth. Uh, so for all of our viewers who are watching, you can leave your thoughts with us in the comment section down below and hit like and subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.